Hello book lovers, welcome back to another deep dive into the world of fantasy literature. Today we're exploring Child of Flame, the fourth book in Kate Elliott's Crown of Stars series. If you're into epic fantasy filled with intricate plots, dynamic characters and a world that feels as alive as our own, this is a book that you won't want to miss. We'll cover the book itself, delve into the mind of its author Kate Elliott and highlight some unforgettable quotes that capture the essence of this epic tale. So let's get started. Let's begin by talking about the brilliant mind behind Child of Flame, Kate Elliott. Born Alice A. Rasmussen, she has made a lasting impact on the fantasy and science fiction genres. Elliott is known for her intricate story storytelling and her ability to craft complex multi-layered narratives that draw readers in. Her works stand out for their deep historical roots and attention to societal dynamics, where politics, culture and personal struggles intertwine to, to create to create immersive, believable worlds. Starting her career with the Labyrinth Gate in 1988, Elliot has continued to evolve, blending rich historical influences with innovative fantasy elements, making her stories both timeless and original. Elliot's passion for history, especially medieval history, is evident in the Crown of Stars series. The attention to historical detail brings a level of realism to her fantasy works, making them feel almost like alternate histories. Her ability to intertwine real world historical themes with fantasy elements is one of the reasons why her work resonates so deeply with readers. is extensive and diverse. Apart from the Crown of Stars series, she's written other notable works like the Spirit Walker Trilogy, a blend of alternate history and fantasy with a focus on magic and revolution. Another series worth mentioning is the Crossroads Trilogy, which delves into themes of justice, faith and the consequences of war in a world where angels watch over humanity. Elliot has also explored young adult fantasy with a Court of Five series, which combines elements of the Hunger Games with a rich, culturally diverse setting. Across all her works, you'll find that Elliot constantly delivers complex characters and richly layered worlds. Now let's talk about why Child of Flame might particularly appeal to those of us in Burnley and Lancashire. Like Burnley, the world of Wender and Var is a place where history, community and resilience are key themes. Burnley is a deep industrial history and while the landscapes in Child of Flame are more medieval than industrial, there's a shared sense of a community facing challenges and adapting to changing times. The characters in this book, much like the people of Burnley, exhibit a strong sense of perseverance. Whether it's the face of political upheaval, personal loss or the pressures of an ever-changing world they push through much like our town has done over the centuries. So what's Child of Flame all about? The story picks up after the events of the burning stone plunging us back into a world that's on the brink of cataclysm. Sanglant, half human and half eagle, is torn between his heritage and his humanity, and his struggle is central to the narrative. Meanwhile, Leah continues her journey, grappling with her powers and the responsibilities they bring. As the political landscapes shift, war looms large, and each character's decisions have far-reaching consequences. The plot is complex, with multiple threads weaving together to create a tapestry of intrigue, magic and conflict. It's a book that demands your attention, with twists and turns that will keep you guessing. Let's dive into some key quotes from Child of Flame that really capture the essence of the book. The past has no more solid, sorry, the past was no more solid than the smoke of a fire blown away by the wind, with only the faintest traces lingering. 
This quote speaks to the book's exploration of history and memory, themes that are also relevant here in Burnley. Our own history is rich and layered, and like in Child of Flame, it's something that shapes us, but it also, it's also something we must sometimes leave behind as we move forward. Power is neither good nor evil, but it is perilous. This line reflects the book's deep dive into the nature of power, how it can corrupt, and also how it can be a force for good, depending on who wields it. It's a reminder that in both fantasy and reality, power must be handled with care, whether in the halls of kings or the councils of towns like Burnley. She had become the flame that the wind could not blow out. This quote perfectly encapsulates Leah's character's art. She's resilient, strong and unyielding, a flame that burns brightly despite the odds. It's a powerful metaphor for endurance, something that resonates deeply in a community like ours, whether we've had the storms to get through or much worse. We've always come out stronger. Themes of identity, power and resilience run through Child of Flame. It's a book that doesn't shy away from exploring the darker sides of these themes. There's a weight to the narrative, a sense that every action has consequences and every choice matters. But despite the darkness, there's also hope. The idea that even in the face of overwhelming odds, there's always a chance to change, to fight back and to carve out a better future. Another key moment in the book involves the resilience shown during the harsh winter, where survival becomes a matter of grit and solidarity. This struggle can be compared to Burnley's history during the cotton famine in the 1860s, where the town's workers faced severe hardship due to the collapse of the cotton trade. Despite the dire conditions, the people of Burnley stood firm, supporting each other through the crisis, much like the characters of Child of Flame do in the darkest hours. This theme of pushing through adversi adversity whether in a fantasy world or our own, resonates deeply with our shared history. Like the characters in Child of Flame, we've found ways to persevere, adapting to challenges and emerging stronger on the other side. So why should you pick up Child of Flame? If you're a fan of epic fantasy, this book offers everything you could want. Rich world building, intricate plots, and characters who feel real and relatable. It's also a pivotal book in the Crown of Stars series, bringing together many threads that have been laid out in the earlier books and setting the stage for what's to come. Plus, where else can you find a story packed with all this? Evil elves, technologically advanced goblins, the music of the spheres, hearsay, dragon vikings, betrayal by the gods, fake miracles, real miracles, instant love, books, sieges, time travel, griffins, awesome battles, magic hounds, weaponized gossip, really good looking bad guys, torture, escapes, betrayal by your friends, matriarchy, frescoes, blood sacrifice, learning, angels, weather, the importance of weaving, heroic sacrifices by dozens of people to get children to safety, the plague, famine, arranged marriages, senators, dragons, the place of coils, translators, metal forging and religious reform. Child of Flame as it all.
Child of Flame by Kate Elliott is a truly captivating piece of epic fantasy. It's a story that not only entertains, but also challenges you to think deeply about power, identity, and the sacrifices we make for what we believe in. The characters are unforgettable, the world is richly detailed, and the plot, complete with twists, turns, and even time travel, will keep you turning pages long into the night. The way time travel is woven into the narrative adds a fascinating layer to the story, exploring how the past, the present, and the future are interwined in ways we can't always foresee. Whether you've been following the Crown of Star series from the beginning or this is your first foray into Elliot's work, this will leave a lasting impression. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Child of Flame. If you found this deep dive engaging, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more book discussions. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What did you think of the time travel element and how do the book's themes resonate with you? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring, keep discovering and most of all, keep reading.